I do not have any pictures of Christ in my home because I don't think you should make any gra likeness of any graven image and nobody knows of, uh, what Christ was like. You see pictures of Jesus as a baby, you see him as a young man, you see him sometimes on the back of a, uh, an animal riding into Jerusalem. But there's a picture I've only ever seen once and it was so grotesque I didn't look a second time. At the voice of the Son of God they're all going to rise and face the eternal judge. What will he be like? In Australia they show me the picture that they have, uh, Beach, Beechcroft or somebody, Beecher, uh, painted a picture of Christ in Australia. He's got lovely blonde hair and bright blue eyes and a, and a lovely flaxen beard, but I don't think that was a picture of Jesus. And the Chinese have an interpretation of Christ through their artists. And, and there are some dreadful pictures, I think, that are being given by the great masters, so-called. And, and they've given us pictures of Jesus, but I'll tell you what, it's a very different picture in the Word of God. I believe that the church of Jesus Christ needs a new revelation of the majesty of God. This is what? This is the King of Kings. And he's the judge of judges. And it's the tribunal of tribunals. And there's no court of appeal after it. The verdict is final. There'll be no biased judgment. Two people at least have said to me this week, there is no justice in the earth today. Maybe there isn't. But I hang on to a word that says, shall not the judge of all the earth do right? The Apostle Paul got a picture of Jesus, not with a lamb in his arms, not like the stained glass windows in our, in our so-called cathedrals, where Jesus looks pathetically feminine. He sees Jesus and he says, here he is, he's the King immortal, invisible, the only wise God to whom be praise and glory forever. 